people gives us answers on the internet, but now it's looking for an answer of its own. How to keep its Google bikes from going missing. KPX 5's Maria Medina joins us now with a story. Maria, what's going on here? Well, you know, uh, Google has put GPS trackers on its bikes after finding some of them made their way to Mexico, even as far as Alaska. But most of the bikes are being used right here in Mountain View by residents. It's nice because it has a basket. On this day, John Martin is heading to the library. There's a lot of them around. Using a Google bike or G bike as they're known to Googlers. Thing is, John isn't a Googler. And you could just be walking along and you see one and there it is and you can pick it up and you can take it to where you're going and then you leave it and somebody else takes it. John isn't the only Mountain View resident who's taken advantage of the G bikes. And I said, boy, this would be really handy to, to take over the movies. And they said, well, why don't you do it? I said, okay. Even the city's mayors borrowed one of the colorful bikes for a quick trip from a meeting at Google to the movie theaters. They're all over Mountain View, quite frankly. I had a friend come from out of town uh, and was so excited to see a Google bike. So I think it's just part of what's now Mountain View lore. While the mayor says he made sure to return it to the Google campus, not everyone does. In fact, Google tells KPIX 5 from July to November of last year, they recovered 70 to 190 G bikes a week off campus. Google has about 1,100 in circulation. People leave them a, a good place is the library. People come to the library and they leave one there. So now Google's put GPS trackers on a third of its bikes, but can't say how many actually get stolen. Oh, no, it's not just for the Google employees. I think it's for the community. Well, technically, the bikes are just for Google employees, but many like John see and use them as a service to the community. Oh, it's a good thing because I don't have a car, for example, and I would have to take the bus and wait for the bus. Uh, good for John. Well, Google employees are told not to take the bikes off campus, but if they are, there is a team of about 30 who collects them and then returns them back to Google. Live in Mountain View, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.